So Warner Brothers just released the brand new trailer for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. I'm Brandon Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. And the trailer itself, it is a completely different tone from the two that we got before. And it was very humorous. That's not a bad thing. And I like how I started off. You have Ben Affleck, Bruce Wayne, Batman showing up to a party. And him and Clark Kent, Superman, are finally meeting. He says, who is that? Oh, it's a new guy. Oh, no, that's Bruce Wayne. And I, I liked all that. I really liked Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman, of Bruce Wayne. And I think the best thing in the trailer for me, well, the second best thing is Bruce Wayne says, I have an experience with freaks dressing up like clowns. And of course, they got a shot of the Robin costume. Jason Todd is killed by the Joker. You know, I really did like that. And he looked at Superman. It's like the whole time they knew who each other was. It's like Superman knew who Batman was and Batman knew who Superman was. And then Lex Luthor comes over there with his goofy butt cracking jokes and trying to make laughs and stuff. And, you know, it was OK, a little too comical for me. But then we start to get into the action. And it's more of the same that we got into the last trailer. If you saw on Gotham, the promo that they did where they have Batman wrapped up in chains and Superman comes and unmask him. There's a lot of theories going online that that's some type of nightmare dream sequence. And the more I see it and the more I think about it, that makes sense. But if you look at this new trailer, it looks like it's even more crazy because it looks like all these bat creatures or I don't know what they are, like coming through and picking up people and killing them and flying everywhere. I don't know what the hell is going on. It has me intrigued. and I'm interested. And just overall, this trailer is just OK. I kind of thought that we would get, you know, Batman in training in his bat cave or something. You know, that would have been kind of cool if he was just kind of like, ha, 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 ha. But we didn't get that. We kind of got more of the same. And I am kind of disappointed because they did show Doomsday. I mean, I'm assuming that that's Doomsday. I mean, they didn't put a subtitle up or anything like that. But I don't feel like they should have put that in the trailer. Another great thing about the trailer was they show Wonder Woman played by Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot. And I have to admit, when she was cast as Wonder Woman, I was so pissed off. I was angry. I was frustrated. I did not want her to be cast because I didn't think she was a good enough actress. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of her work other than Fast and Furious 5. That's when she came on the scene to me. And I don't mean to sound like an a-hole, but she just looked too thin to be Wonder Woman. Not that there is anything wrong with thin women, but this is the, the, the queen of the Amazons. I mean, these are warrior goddesses. But I have to admit, when she popped up in the trailer, she did look badass. She looked like she was ready to throw down. She looked like she was ready to box more than Superman and Batman. She was in the center, in the forefront. That made me happy. I mean, she looked great as Wonder Woman, so I'm excited there. But at the same time, they didn't have to put her in the trailer either. I mean, this is Batman and Superman. Superman and Batman, the two biggest superheroes of all time. All you have to do is show this picture right here and put the date up, March 25th, 2016, and everybody and their mom, cats, dogs, brothers, aunts, and uncles are going to go see the movie. This movie is going to break $2 billion dollars worldwide easy i'm calling it now if it doesn't i will be surprised and i mean this trailer was cool i'm excited i'm going to be there opening night something else that i did also like about the trailer they showed batman and superman fighting it looks like superman had the upper hand at one point he was like bruce stay down if i wanted to you would be dead that is straight out of the dark knight return series i didn't ever read that graphic novel but i, I have the blu-rays here here's part one part two and then here's both of them combined in the one, the deluxe edition. I didn't know they were coming out with this one when I bought when I bought these right here. But, you know, this I heard is like a, an exact adaptation of the graphic novel. And I love this. This was freaking awesome. And in these movies, when Batman and Superman are fighting each other, Superman says to Batman something like that. Like, hey, man, stay down. You know, you can't whoop me back up. I'm Superman. You're just a man. But I am a little disappointed because I feel that they put too much in the trailer. I really don't feel that they should have put Doomsday in the trailer. Um, I think they should have just saved that for the movie. I kind of feel like I know the whole thing that's going to go on in the whole film. Obviously, I don't, but it feels that way. And I don't want to feel that way going into a movie. But overall, I am excited about the movie. The first trailer came out in April. The second trailer came out in July this past summer at Comic-Con, and we have this trailer. Out of all three trailers, the Comic-Con trailer by far is my favorite. Now, since Marvel just dropped their Captain America Civil War trailer last week, and I had to compare it to this one, I have to say that I really did enjoy the Captain America Civil War trailer 
by far. That one blew this Batman Superman uh, Dawn of Justice trailer out of the water. I'm excited to see both of them, but to be honest, because of this trailer, I am now more excited for Captain America Civil War. I'm still excited for Batman v Superman. Probably going to see it in the theater four to five times, if it's amazing, at least. But, you know, this trailer was a little disappointing, um, just to be honest with you. I, I just, um, I don't know. I just feel that they show way too much in the trailer. But guys, that is just my opinion. So let me know what you thought about the new Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice trailer. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? And just because I like or dislike something doesn't mean that you have to dislike or like something. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below letting me know why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Now, if you're curious to see or read any of my reviews that I've written on past films or that I'll be writing for in the future, you can head over to the site and you can find it at www.justmyopinion.net. And if you would like to find my official Facebook page, you can at facebook.com slash just my opinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me at Instagram and Twitter at just my opinion 84. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, head over to the website, find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. And don't forget, share the video, guys. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.